the aircraft behind me. It's a technical demonstrator of a large uncrewed helicopter uh, that the Royal Navy and Leonardo have been working on together over the last three years. Well, the Royal Navy has set a journey for, called Maritime Aviation Transformation to introduce um, autonomy at scale. And our objective is to get to a full, fully autonomous solution and we've been testing that and developing that through a digital twin um, in a synthetic environment. Um, and it allows us to be more resilient to potential threats in the future. Well, it's been a real pleasure we're working with Leonardo. Uh, the company has a strong pedigree in maritime aviation aircraft, having produced Seeking, Wildcat and Merlin aircraft over many decades. So a natural partner for us um, in our uncrewed journey. Yeah, so this week's a really important week. Effectively, we're conducting the final checks before we approach first flight in the coming weeks. So what Proteus brings is a fully autonomous and uncrewed uh, capability into the maritime environment. It's designed initially to conduct anti-submarine warfare, but of course it has potential to do other airborne capabilities. Leonardo leading the way globally, supported by the Royal Navy. The most important thing about Proteus is the onboard software capability and its decision-making capabilities. So the onboard computing is cutting edge. It carries a suite of sensors and systems that allow it to sense its environment and make decisions accordingly. So all of that activity is conducted on board the aircraft. It's capable in the most extreme um, environments, so we can operate in high sea states, in high wind states, in the North Atlantic, just where the Royal Navy needs this kind of capability.